Bitcoin is dumping, but how low can Bitcoin really go before the next big pump? And what's up, you guys? Welcome, welcome, welcome to the Mango Grove. My name is Krisha, and this is today's Bitcoin analysis video. I got Sean next to me today. Sean, say hello to everybody. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Good morning, everyone. So, guys, Sean is under the weather today. He's got a very high fever, but irrespective, mm. he's here to give you guys the juice on Bitcoin because this is going to be an important one. I may be low on the energy today, guys, but we do have some very, very important price action that is unfolding that could get us ready for the next big, big opportunity. So, eyes open. So, well, before we jump into the juice of that next big bid opportunity, let's talk about what we have so far. Okay, so overarching view for Bitcoin, guys, we are bullish. But why are we bullish? Well, in our last update with you guys, we told you that, hey, look towards the monthly. We opened a brand new month of July. And so far, here's what we have done. We have reclaimed the 21 exponential moving average, which historically has been a very, very important level. That's what marked the beginning of the bear market phase, right? That's where Bitcoin lost it, dropped all the way down to 15K. But now not only did we reclaim the 21 exp exponential moving average, we did so with a bullish engulfing candle. Handle. Okay, in addition to that, guys, we've also cleared out a very, very critical region of resistance now turned into support coming in at around $29,458. So overarching view for Bitcoin right now is bullish. In fact, you can also see our two targets, our long term targets labeled on that arrow, the dotted arrow that Krisha has marked out over there, $42,000 that we've been talking about since Jan and now $60,000 as well, which is Krisha's cup and handle target. So yeah, we are still bullish. But guys, just because we're bullish doesn't mean that we immediately put on a trade. Sometimes we're just in a no trade zone. If you've been following this community over the past two weeks now, you know that we've been saying, hey, we either wait to buy higher or we wait to buy lower. So far, we've been going sideways and none of those triggers have hit just yet. Exactly, Sean. Now, if you guys have been following along with us, you've been patient, you've been mango, you've been stress-free throughout this entire period. And if you're new here, make sure to hit the sub and the bell. That way you're staying away from any unnecessary losses. Alrighty, so now what do we have so far? No trade zone, and why is this a no trade zone? Well, we've been highlighting resistance for you guys all this while. We're currently up against cloud resistance on the weekly time frame. You can see that we've been following the cloud. So far, cloud resistance, guys, coming in at around $31,300. Okay, you can go ahead and smack a line right there. You can see that we have three weeks of rejection on that. Not a single candle clearing that region. Now, this 31.3K region was that much more important considering that, that it was also a historical level. If you can see this, this was the bull market of 2021. We took it out, made our way all the way up to $60,000, came back down, got supported, once again bounced off all the way up to 69000 came back down and this is where we broke it and that marked the beginning of that meltdown to $15,000 per Bitcoin. Once again, guys, we're up against that region, but have we cleared it? Have we cleared it? No, we haven't. No trade zone. The breakout exactly. trade has not triggered just yet. Just gotta be patient, exactly. especially for the big trade, guys. Now, if you're lower time frame trading, by all means, you can get in, you can get out. You're gonna be putting on more trades. But if you want to take those mango trades, those longer term trades where you get to sit in your position stress free, you just gotta be patient for when you do put on the position. So we're either waiting for the break above that neckline or the pullback trade opportunity, which is much deeper. Exactly. But now, Sean, let's give them the fun part of this. Okay, <laughs> where do we think price is going? Do we see a breakout or do we see a pullback? Because in the last video, you actually highlighted a pullback trade setup for yeah. them, right? Which was hinged on the daily time frame. Now, so far, what's happening with price? What are your thoughts? Do we see a pullback here? So the answer to that question all depends on how this next daily candle unfolds. And this actually lines up really, really well with what we are looking for on our pullback trade opportunity. Now here we are looking at the Mango View available at app.mangoresource.co. You guys should follow along since Bitcoin is completely free on all the time frames. Remember guys, on TradingView, you get access to only a few time frames. Over here, you guys have access to all the time frames, the 12 hour, the two day, the four day. We did this specifically to make your lives easier 
here to follow along with the mango trade setup so you also have all access to all your one click indicators right over here and what i'm going to do now guys is click on the 10 sma 200 ma combination right and this white indicator over here that you guys are looking at that's your 10 simple moving average and you guys can see that throughout this entire consolidation, Bitcoin has been closing multiple daily candles over this 10 SMA. The bulls are holding it, holding it, holding it. Now we did have a breakout, right? But we came up against Kusha's weekly cloud level and saw rejection. So the weekly is pushing down against price. Let's go ahead and zoom in over there. So now what we're looking for, guys, is whether or not this daily candle over here closes underneath this white simple moving average, this 10 simple moving average. If we see a daily candle close underneath here, that's when I'll be looking for further downside. Until then, you have to assume the price is inching and reaching for further upside. But if today's daily candle closes above this 10 simple moving average, which by the way, guys, is coming in at around 30,550. If we close above 30,550, at that point, there's a possibility that Bitcoin tests that resistance to the upside again. So keep it very simple, guys. We close above, look for upside. We close underneath the 10 simple moving average, look for further downside. All right, Shauna, I am in agreement with you there. I think it's pretty, pretty straightforward. Um, and that's why, guys, I think this is looking super droopy, okay? And that's why we're going to be presenting you with the pullback trade opportunity today. However, tomorrow, in case price decides to run away from us, I will be giving you guys a refresher on the breakout trade. In addition to any updates on that trade opportunity, okay? So if you wanna make sure you're not missing out on that trade opportunity, and guys, it's gonna be a big one. We're talking about a 2X trade here. Okay, if you do not wanna miss out on that, now it's time to hit the sub and the bell notification icon. That way you are keeping up with any further updates. For now, we can get into today's mango trade of the day, which is going to be the pullback opportunity. What are we looking at here, Sean? Okay, so remember guys, this is predicated. The pullback opportunity is predicated on us actually losing that 10 SME, all right? We're gonna zoom out and turn on our Ichimoku indicator, okay? Now you guys can see a red line show up as well as a blue line, okay? These are both components of the Ichimoku. The red being the Kijun, the blue being the Tenkin. For the past few days now, guys, the Tenkin and the Kijun have been overlapping, right? So it kept it very, very simple for us. But now there's something interesting going on over here. Very, very interesting. If you go ahead and zoom in, you're going to see that the Tenkin is shooting towards the upside, currently sitting at around 28,300-ish. Cool. What I'm also going to go ahead and do now is turn on our bullish FVGs. You're going to see two FVGs show up. These are both vacuum areas that price tends to get sucked into. You can see that over here, during this dump, that was a fake dump, price got sucked into it and it got immediately picked up. Now, if we lose that 10 SME, you can expect this FVG to get tested again. However, if we lose the upper threshold of the FVG, guys, currently coming at around 29,500, we are going to be looking for price to come down to the bottom of the FVG, coming in at 28,400, which is awfully awfully close to where the Tenkin is approaching. So that level, guys, around 28,400 is going to be the bid area, all right? But guys, it doesn't end just there. Yes, we have the Tenkin coming at around 28,400. Yes, we have the Kijun coming in at 28,400. And we have two FVGs lining up at 28,400 as well. But there's more. If we go ahead and turn on to our bi-weekly time frame, because we just closed a bi-weekly, not just a weekly candle. And I'm sure a lot of you guys are already noticing it. There's a massive cup and handle playing out over here. A cup and handle that has broken out. And if we go ahead and draw that neckline, you're gonna see that the neckline is also at 28,500. So not only do we have the Tenkin, the Kijun, and two FEGs, but we have the neckline of this massive cup and handle coming in at 28,500. The beautiful bid, the golden bid, the mango bid would be at around 28,500. Why? Not because it's 100% certain that it's gonna be successful, but because it's gonna be so easy to know if we are wrong. If we close a candle underneath that level, 28,500, we exit our trade, take our loss like men, and wait for the next opportunity. But if we get that bid, we are gonna be hunting for that big, big trade to $64,000. Of course, $42,000 interim target where we're going to be taking profits, but we always look for the bigger win. And the bigger win is pointing to 
all time highs. Boom, that has me so freaking excited. But now guys, remember, remember, this is a dynamic trade. Price is gonna keep unfolding on the chart. And if you wanna stay up to date as price unfolds on this trade setup, make sure you smash that subscribe and the bell notification icon that way you are not missing out on any further updates on this trade. Okie okay, dokes, now this is all we have for you for today. Keep it mango. And yeah, with this, trade safely, trade stress-free, trade the mango way, trade the easy way. Ciao, you guys. Ciao.